DJ Omega here, and they're taking a look at the Blizzard Lighting Torn X-Ray. Now these lights aren't out yet at the end of this video, uh, but I do have two demo units here to, to show you guys for a review. Uh, for the sake of full disclosure, uh, Blizzard Lighting sent me these lights to review. Um, I did not buy these lights. I don't get to keep these lights. It's purely a, a T&E type of light. With that being said, let's get to the review. So taking a look at the, the specs of these units, um, there's five 10 watt 4 in 1 LEDs uh, with a 2 degree beam angle, so that's what makes it so sharp. And it has R, G, B, and W. It has 11 channel mode and a 33 channel mode. Uh, so if you have you have greater flexibility with the 33, um, it gives you um, individual control of each white in each one, each red in each one, and, that, and so forth. Uh, with the 11 channel mode, you actually get to control all the reds, all the greens, uh, blues, and so on. So that 33 gives you greater control of the light. Um, there's also auto mode, there's a sound active mode, there's internal programs built in for each of those. Uh, for control of DMX, you have pan, tilt, um, sp speed, shutter, dimmer, the RGBW again, um, each pixel in the 33 mode, uh, pixel macros, internal programs. These things really have anything you want to do with them basically, you can control, which is kind of the neat thing about this, this light. So you can imagine I was pretty excited when I got a chance to take a look at these lights. Kind of the initial impressions out of the box, um, you could immediately tell that this is a quality built light. Um, there's no extra play or give in it, it's real, real tight um, specs. Uh, the unit itself is, is pretty, pretty fancy. Um, it has two nice handles on the side which makes it easy for carrying. Um, it kind of has a rubberized kind of feel to it. You know, I was surprised at how light these units were um, when I initially, you know, picked them up. You know, but they still have enough heft to them that if you're really buzzing around the pan and tilt, it's not going to shake and throw the light off balance. So it has nice sturdy base, um, but definitely, you know, easy to carry around in that. So um, initial out of the box, I mean, this is you can definitely tell this is one of those quality quality lights. So what's my overall impression of these lights? Um, I'm actually you know, quite impressed. I was really excited to see them. It certainly did not disappoint. Um, I, I like the fact that bright, brightness of the light, the tight, narrow beams. Uh, I would say this is definitely kind of more that aerial effect. I think it has a, a better punch with fog uh, or haze or something like that, some particle in the air. Um, that's when you really get to see it shine. And uh, you know, this would be perfect for uh, club applications, permanent um, applications um, in a venue and that sort of thing. Uh, school dances, you know, it kind of gives you that laser kind of scanning, scanning the crowd type of an effect. Um, you know, weddings, you, know, you can certainly use it for that too. Um, you can use them, you know, on your truss or you could actually use them kind of as accent lighting, you know, behind a head table and that sort of thing. So. It kind of has that, that versatility to it, but I think definitely the bigger venues with how bright it is and that that's, it's going to be um, more bang for your, for your buck there. Uh, I did have a chance to uh, put these outside 
and shoot them up into the sky, and that sort of thing. And the beams just, you know, the tight beam angle just went forever. Uh, I was kind of surprised at, at how well it did that. Unfortunately, my camera wouldn't capture that. Um, so you'll just have to take my word for it, I guess. But, you know, if you do get one, first thing I, I say you should do is take it outside, shoot it up towards the sky. But otherwise, yeah, I'm real happy with these lights. Um, I appreciate the wizard lighting, you know, sending me these lights for letting me take a look at these lights. I've had them for about two weeks now and uh, really gone through the paces and that and they, they haven't failed, they haven't hicked up, hick up with anything. Um, you know, I try and throw everything at it to kind of test it out and, you know, it, it did just, just wonderfully with it. So, um, if you do have any questions at all, um, feel free to post a, a message to this uh, video. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, I do need to give these lights back and that sort of thing, but um, if I, I do need to have questions and that answer, I can certainly get those answers for you. So um, hopefully this gave you, a, you know, at least a, a good idea of what the light can do. If you actually you know, use this for uh, your shows and that sort of thing, the 33 channels of DMX control, you know, if you're going to buy these kind of lights, which I think uh, MAP is $9.99 um, each, it's definitely something you're going to want to step up to, you know, a, a computer-based or a program, software-based DMX uh, program. I'm using just a uh, uh, Elation DMX operator and, you know, while you can still have some functions, it, it's a lot harder to control lights than if you use a computerized program. So if you really want to maximize this and, and, and take advantage of everything, you definitely want to use a computer-based program for it. So hopefully we'll do some more reviews for you soon. Take care.